वेलकम बैक सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू कनेक्ट योर गूगल शीट विद पाइथन द पाइथन इज वेरी पावरफुल लैंग्वेज एंड यू कैन डू अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स विद दिस लैंग्वेज सो यू कैन सी दिस इज माई पाइथन प्रोग्राम एंड आई जस्ट रन माई पाइथन प्रोग्राम फाइल हेयर एंड यू कैन सी इट सक्सेसफुली बेइंग रनिंग एंड हेयर इज माई गूगल शीट आई हैव बिकॉज आई हैव कनेक्टेड माई गूगल शीट विद माई पाइथन प्रोग्राम so the file is running here and it will adding the demo data in my google sheet so you can see here the demo data is successfully being added in my google sheet and with that particular demo data so you can see here uh, it will create a student dashboard.html so you can also view the front end of that particular demo data here okay now again what they say real time monitoring if you want that your dashboard will be refreshed automatically uh, in part in a particular time frame you can simply reply with yes or no if you want yes you can simply reply with the y and if you want no you can simply reply with no i just simply enter here rest so you can see auto refresh enabled every 30 seconds so you just go to your a uh, student dashboard dot html and you can run this particular file so you can see here uh, this is your student dashboard dot html uh, where you can see uh, the dashboard type interface the chart type interface which data we have added in our google sheet so uh, let me show you how you can do it on your end and what things uh, do you need to perform this on your system or your computer so making this particular dashboard we have used it here the python library the plotly.com okay so uh, how you can do it on your end just open your chrome browser and enter here the vs code okay so when you enter here the vs code download first software you need to download is that the windows 10 11 what is your operating system you can download them uh, and install them so i have already installed here my vs studio code so you can also install them and the second thing you need here the python okay so you just simply here the python and the go to the first website which come to you the python.org and simply go to the download section and click on this all releases okay so you can download the latest version as well but if you don't want to face any error uh, with uh, in my code so you can i suggest you will download these two particular files 3.11 Point one three or three point uh one uh three point ten point eighteen. Okay, so these two you need to download and install in your computer. And the uh, the source code is available in the description. Now the main thing is that how you can connect your Google Sheet or Google Sheet with your Python code because the video is how to connect your Google Sheet with Python. So. for that you can see uh, the top 5 students by gpa and everything key statistics everything they will show you no worries about it okay so how you can connect your google sheet because the google sheet is available in your google drive and the python is available on your system so how we can connect it yes definitely we will use the api keys so how we can get the api keys simply go to your browser and enter here google cloud okay so google cloud console okay and when you enter here google cloud console simply open the google cloud console here and that's it and after you come to that particular website you simply uh, click on this uh, select your particular account and select any and click on this agree and continue so when you click on this agree and continue you can simply search here the google sheet api okay so when you open the uh, search the google sheet api you just simply i uh, click on this enable so when you click on this enable uh, it will enable uh, in your google cloud console and after that you will need to searching same like the google drive api so we will wait uh, to enable it yes it's enabled in our uh, google cloud console now what we need to do we need same search the google drive api okay so when we search it the google drive api we simply open this particular file and the same procedure we will do here the enable 
so when we do the enable and we will wait them to enable the api key in our google cloud console okay that's fine so now what you need to do you simply click on this uh, sidebar and go to the iam admin and the and here's you need to go to the service accounts so when you go to your service account here you need to simply click on this create service account you can simply open this particular file and right now we can edit here the demo uh, python okay the demo python so you can see here the way i have added the service account name the demo python and simply click on this create and continue so when i click on this create and continue i don't need to uh, do anything here and simply click on this continue and again i can simply click on this done now that's all everything is working fine and i just simply click on this particular email and open that particular email like that okay so you can see here the keys section here okay so what you need to do you simply need to go to your keys section and press on this add key and when you click on this create new key you can simply uh, download here the json format and click on this create so when you click on this create a file is being successfully downloaded in your uh, in your uh, download folder so you can open them uh, due to so you can open them and uh, come back to the details section and copy this particular email id now what you need to do you can simply need to open here the sheet dot new okay so when you open the sheet dot new it will create a new google sheet in your google drive and after that uh, you will come to here and uh, you will run this particular file and uh, you will see this is a credentials file so what you need to do this is the file you have downloaded here you can simply rename that particular file with this name and upload here so you can see i already have them so you can uh, simply rename that downloaded file and upload in your folder okay so or you can replace your uh, file with my particular file okay now what you need to do the extra so you can see here or uh, you can also search here the sheet name okay so when you search here the sheet name so you can see this is a sheet name i just copy this particular sheet name and go to here and rename this file that's all now the main concept is that you can simply copy this particular file uh, email id and click on this share button and when you click on this share enter that particular email id and make it a data and click on this send so when you click on this send everything is working fine so uh, what you need to do again the thing you need to do is that the that particular downloaded file you will rename them and replace in your uh, with and replace with your this file okay that's fine so i will do and i will be back to you okay so i have successfully uh, changed the credentials dot dash and with my downloaded file because uh, it have a lot of api keys so in, on youtube we cannot reveal them so now you just simply uh, click on this here and click on this run python file and that's all it will checking the libraries don't worry if you don't have installed that libraries you don't need to do a lot of things you can simply wait it will automatically download it everything okay now you can easily able to see here in our new file we have successfully being connected to the python and uh, what we need to do again here we can simply open that particular dashboard uh, student dashboard file here and you can see we can simply click on this press f5 and we can check out our uh, analytics type of view here in front of you okay 